Welcome to Vine Island. Today I'm going to um, I'm going to show how I put audio into my spatial uh, spaces. Uh, there really isn't a way you can put anything in here uh, between 3D uh, models and imagery, videos, all types of files. But for some reason, uh, it, audio is not. You just can't add an audio file in here, but I have a way to do it. So if you hear right now, uh, if your speakers are up, you can hear some nice bird chirping, just nice and subtle. And then I also, if I teleport all the way up the mountain here, you can hear the, the sound of the wind. Let me turn my speakers up a little. So wind over here, there was some nice bird chirping down there. And then uh, I actually put another wind, some more wind sound over here. And then way down, if I teleport all the way down here, see those little seagulls off in the distance? We've got seagull sounds. So in order to do that, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to add some, some ocean sound. But uh, what I did was I have been I just create a video file a small video file to do that so let me uh let me teleport all the way oh yeah I have another sound over here you can listen to the this is a great sound it's fun to find these sounds and I'll show you where I get my my uh, my music and my sounds and all that uh, so to get all these cool little sounds let's go this is great too, you can teleport. Oh, sometimes it teleports way crazy. So I'm gonna put another site right here where you're able to uh, find a, a vine card. So for one thing, I'm gonna probably put like a shipwreck, something like that, and uh, you know, using probably Sketchfab and putting something cool there. But for the meantime, I also wanna make the the ocean sound, the nice little ocean sound when you're in this area. So to start with, I go to my uh, Invado account. If you have one, uh, great. You pay monthly and you can use all the files uh, you want. It's amazing. It's so worth it. And uh, what I do is I just go into my Invado account and I typed in waves because I want some, some nice waves. And I found this one that I like. Perfect waves. So then I go to uh, I go here and I download it and you just put it into your uh, you say what the project name is and that way you legally can use it and then you're good to go on that. So once you do that, you'll download the actual file. It'll be a zip file. So I got the zip file and I just put it into my spatial audio, which you see right here it says waves. So with that, um, you can't just import the WAV file. So what you have to do is you have to um, open up, uh, just basically make it a video file. What I use is After Effects, Adobe After Effects. It's really easy. So instead of saying new project and then finding the file and cutting it all down, I just go to uh, new composition from footage. So if you do that, then you can pick your audio file which is waves, and some reason I have, oh no, that's wind, uh, so I did the same thing with those. So um, waves, just pick that, and then bam, it's in there. Look at that. It's the whole thing. Now, it is a big file, it's a long uh, audio file, so to cut it down, I'm, I'm gonna make it a lot smaller, and probably put it to right about there, and what I do is I can just test out how it sounds. So let's say I want to go to, do, 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 I don't know, right about, let's try right there. So I'll take the, um, this little marker right here and I just cut it all the way down. And I can play it a loop. So if I play it, let's see. Uh, kind of, let me run it off a little bit more. It still sounds like it. We don't want it to 
sound like it loops. And this is, I could be a lot more precise. That's not bad, that's not bad. A little bit more. Maybe a little bit more that way, all right. So. That's right, we're just gonna do this for now. All right, so I'm gonna put it right about here. And then I just go to make composition and I send it to my media encoder. So anyway, uh, you don't have to use uh, After Effects. You, you can actually, you can use any program as long as you just put the file in a video program and then save it out as a, a, a MPEG-4. Uh, so give this a second. It should be, hello. It will pop up here and I'll just save the name as an MP4. And so my computer crashed and I did not restart this one. I'm thinking maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have. This is what happens when you stream live. All right, I'm gonna close that and let's try to do this again. So it'll open, reopen it up. Uh, my computer crashed, I had a lot of things open so I think that's what happened. So it should pop up. Come on, baby, there you are. So, just open this up, and then you just want to rename it. Um, since I didn't save it, I have to go through here, but I just go, I'm going into my uh, my spatial folder, which is dun, 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 right there, and then I go to audio, and that's it. So I want to put it right in there. I'll just call it waves, and I want to make sure. So oh, waves crashing and that's a video mp4 and i like to bring this down it's at it automatically puts it at 710 i'm just gonna put it to 100 i don't think it matters too much because there is no real video in there but just a, as much as you can to cut it down especially if you're putting a lot of these in there and then that's it you hit the little play button and done so now we just go right into our spatial space and you go to add so then you upload so right now you see there's uh, there's all those audio files that are in this folder with with these video files but uh, you cannot see them and I don't see waves <laughs> oh yeah waves crashing that's why uh, so just open that up give it a second to process and and get in there and once it's in, it's going to be this big black box with a play button. And you can make it really small and hide it behind something. Or you can do this way, which, uh, which it seems to, it might, be, might seem scary, but um, you can always retrieve it. So let's go ahead and make it play. Yes, hear the nice crashing waves. And then hit that right here. Hit this this little button right here. That'll make it loop. So it'll always play. It'll always loop. And that way, there's you've got your sound. And it is spatial. So if you notice, the farther I get, the less you can hear it. So you can still hear it pretty well up here. So I'm going to keep bringing it back. And watch you all of a sudden. So you can't really hear it as much. But then let's go to the shore. And then you hear it a lot better. So yeah, I like that. So I can make it really small, but it'll still be floating there in the water. So what I'm going to do is just simply go, bye-bye, blunk, right in the water. And then be done with it. So what happens if you need to retrieve it? You know, you can't get it, even though I'm walking on water. Uh, you cannot... Get it. So what you do, if you need to retrieve it, you go up in the right-hand corner, and you hit this little filming mode, and then that lets you, for more than just this reason, just fly around and and uh, take pictures or uh, just check out the whole scenery. But you can also 
you'll notice, boom, go through the model. And, uh-oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. And it's just floating right there in a space. And you can grab it if you need to and then use that Y, that y um, slider to slide it back up and then grab it uh, when you're done. So that is it. Uh, adding audio to spatial, it's... Uh, it's so cool and so needed. In fact, just being able to feel like you're in different spots. And then let's go up in the mountains. You can teleport all over here. So it's louder the louder you get up. Then you got the nice, calm... Uh, I might, I might put uh, some more audio right here. But well, yeah, once once it's in, you can just keep adding to it. See that? Nice little. If you can hear the uh, the chirping in the background. So that is it. I'm gonna show you one more uh, cool audio. If you want to hear it, it is in. Um, it's my 7-Eleven. This is a really fun one. So this is just showing where you can find the metavines once they're out into the world. So it basically be, it's anywhere you can, uh, that you can uh, search. So it doesn't even have to, it's not the, our site. It's not the vines and the metavine site. It's all over the metaverse. So we'll be partnering up with, um, we got some, some amazing people we're already partnering up with. And uh, basically, the vines themselves are are inside these all over the metaverse doesn't matter if it's a single world or a bunch of little metaverses you can come in here and uh and say oh there we go look at that we found eve so we find eve and it says this is an example we can uh go claim that card and add it to our our cube and that's the uh the collecting part of of the vines and obviously what's very cool is um, we can send uh, uh, anyone down a, a fun narrative whether you're uh, you own a, a space yourself and want to bring people in uh, it's a cool way to uh, to bring people to, into your space and be part of this whole scavenger hunt thing and then we can go back to vine island or uh, there's some other places so all right uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this helped Get um, uh, get that audio in to uh, spatial because yeah, I was the same way. I was like, man, why can't I get this in here? And uh, and now you can.